What do we mean when we say fifth generation fighter? When it comes to fighter jets, the modern world is currently in a transition. The combat fighters that we all know and love over the years are reaching the end of their operational lifespans. There have been many update programs for some of these aircraft, but the Air Force has canceled these expensive upgrades, as it is now more feasible to build an entirely new platform thanks to major advances in technology. There are some sixth-generation concepts out there, and of course, our latest fifth-generation fighters. Keep watching, you might be surprised at what is actually operational. To get an idea of where we are now, it's a good idea to take a look at fourth generation fighters just to see how far we have come. These are jet fighter aircraft that have been in service since 1980 and represent design concepts of the 1970s, which have become drastically and dangerously outdated. With weapons mounted on the outside of the aircraft, significant drag is produced which interferes with maneuverability. And while it might seem logical to keep updating the jet, the old airframe designs are outdated compared with new technology. Fifth generation fighters are planes that are associated with technologies developed during the first part of the 21st century. Of course the exact characteristics of fifth generation fighters is controversial and vague. Lockheed Martin defines them as having all aspects stealth, even when armed, and LPIR, low probability of intercept radar, allowing the aircraft the ability to avoid detection by passive radar detection equipment while it is searching for a target. The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter developed for the United States Air Force. The aircraft was variously designated F-22 and F-A-22 before it formally entered service in December 2005 as the F-22A. The aircraft was designed primarily as an air superiority fighter, but also has ground attack, electronic warfare and signal intelligence capabilities, where it can pick up any communications. The F-22's combination of stealth, upgraded airframe giving exceptional aerodynamic performance and situational awareness make this one one of the most dangerous fighter jets in the world. And surprisingly enough, it is one of only three fifth-generation aircraft in military service that is operational. Not only is it the most advanced aircraft in the world, but it is also the most expensive fighter aircraft to date, with each plane costing $150 million. The entire program cost is $67.3 billion. There are few countries that can afford this. The F-35 Lightning II, built by Lockheed Martin, is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighter jet. Its job is to perform ground attack in air superiority missions. The most obvious difference between the F-22 and the F-35 is that the F-22 has two F-119 PW-100 turbofan engines. Two things set the F-22 engines apart from the F-35 engine. The Pratt & Whitney F-119 gives the F-22 the ability to super cruise, meaning that it's operating at supersonic speeds without using afterburners. Secondly, the F-22 has convergent, divergent thrust vectoring nozzles, which vectors thrust up or down at a maximum of 20 degrees, giving the F-22 maneuverability that the F-35 just can't match. The other obvious and unmentioned thing is that one F-119 puts out 35,000 pounds of thrust, while two engines give the F-22 65,000 to 70,000 pounds of thrust. There are three main models. The F-35A uses conventional takeoff and landing, but the F-35B can short takeoff and can vertically land like the old Harrier jump jets. And then there is the F-35C, which was designed with a catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery for use on aircraft carriers. The F-35 first flew on December 15, 2006. The program ended up seven years behind schedule and was $163 billion over budget. But by July 2015, the United States Marines declared its first squadron of F-35B fighters ready for deployment. The aircraft has a ton of fifth-generation improvements, including low-maintenance stealth technology, integrated avionics and sensor fusion, which increases the pilot's situational awareness. 
The fighter jet is also equipped with autonomic logistics, global sustainment and autonomic logistics information system and computerized maintenance management system to help ensure the aircraft can remain operational with minimal maintenance manpower and lightweight and powerful lithium-ion batteries. Basically, the plane can take care of itself and manage its own systems without a full maintenance crew. It has a lot of other incredible technologies, but many of them remain top secret information. The engine in the F-35 is the F-135 two-spool afterburning turbofan built by Pratt & Whitney. It is currently the most powerful jet fighter engine ever developed. The conventional takeoff and landing jet engine model produces 28,000 pounds of thrust and as much as 43,000 pounds with afterburner. This new engine design was actually developed from the proven Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 engine, which powers the U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor. The only other operational fifth-generation fighter jet currently is the Chinese Jengdu J-20, which is a single-seat, twin-jet, all-weather stealth fighter aircraft developed by China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The third operational fifth-generation fighter, the Chengdu J-20, was designed as an air superiority fighter with precision strike capability and descends from the JXX program of the 1990s. It made its maiden flight on January 11, 2011, but it wasn't revealed until 2016. By March 2017, the aircraft was in military service. So how does it compare with the F-22? The J-20 is longer, but has a shorter wingspan. But both have a top speed of 1,534 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound. One problem for the J-20 is its reliance on Chinese or Russian-made engines, which severely affect maneuverability and stealth capacity at supersonic speeds. The engines in the F-22 allow it to supercruise at Mach 1.82. And of course, the F-22 has vectoring nozzles that enable it to perform agile maneuvers even at supersonic speeds. The J-20 has excellent frontal and side stealth capabilities, but the rear of the plane, possibly due to the engines, is thought to be more vulnerable to radar when compared to the F-22. The J-20 does have a larger bay, allowing it to carry longer-range missiles or precision laser-guided bombs. Interestingly enough, the fighter jet is not confirmed to have any guns. Of course, that doesn't mean it's not packing a cannon in the wing or nose somewhere, or could even have laser weapons. The F-22, on the other hand, has a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan cannon and can carry eight short or medium-range missiles and air-to-air to air-to-ground -air missiles. Armed with that information, it looks like the F-22 would be able to hold its own against a J-20. But there is one more fifth-generation fighter jet out there that is supposed to enter military service and be operational in the latter half of 2019, the Russian Sukhoi Su-57. It is the designation for the stealth, single-seat, twin-engine, multi-role fighter developed for air superiority and attack operations. It is the first Russian jet fighter to utilize stealth technology and has other fifth-generation traits, such as supercruise, supermaneuverability, and advanced avionics. This new fighter jet is intended to succeed the MiG-29 and the Su-27 in the Russian Air Force. Even though there are only three operational and in-service fifth-generation jet fighters in the world, and with the Russian jet coming into service, makes only four models, many countries are already looking toward the future of sixth-generation aircraft. The United States Air Force is pursuing development and acquisition of a sixth-generation fighter through the Penetrating Counter-Air Program to replace its existing air superiority aircraft, such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, and complement existing platforms in service, such as the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The USAF published a video sometime in March 2018 showing a conceptual sixth-generation fighter called the FX, which is a very modern design, and one of the future weapons demonstrated was a laser beam that can cut another fighter jet in two pieces. Since 2015, the United States Air Force has had plans to mount lasers on current planes and jets, like the F-15 and F-16 and the AC-130s. Lockheed Martin was recently awarded a $26.3 million contract to develop the laser for fighter jets. It is unclear what capabilities a 6th generation fighter would have over a 5th generation fighter, 
which already advanced by leaps and bounds over a fourth generation fighter, like the trusty F-16 or F-15 Fighting Eagle. But these new fighters could have the possibility of being manned or unmanned. They will likely use artificial intelligence for sorting data and analyzing threats, giving the pilot the ability to focus on objectives. Modern jets could also control and orchestrate swarms of unmanned vehicles as they flew around the pilot's jet, providing defensive and offensive capabilities. But surprisingly, there are many proposed models. Russia has been drawing up plans for the Mikoyan MiG-4. However, the program is highly top secret and not much is known about it. The United Kingdom unveiled a model of the next generation aircraft with the Tempest concept in July 2018. This aircraft will have two engines hidden away deep inside of the airframe to help keep its radar and infrared signatures as low as possible. Rolls-Royce is currently working on the engine design using composite materials as an advanced manufacturing process so that the engine is super lightweight and has better thermal management. All those things designed to keep the engines off of radar. The aircraft is also slated to get many offensive and defensive weapons locked away inside the hull and defensive directed energy weapons like lasers. It's a cool looking aircraft and will be exciting to see it come together. That is, if the country can afford the program. The USA is currently working on two sixth generation models, the Boeing FA-XX and the USAF FX fighter jet. Japan is also getting into the sixth generation game with the RDI I-3 fighter or Mitsubishi F-3, which is based on technology developed for the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin. Despite this, there is very little reporting on progress from these programs, and it is interesting that we have jumped from 5th generation right to 6th generation with only four fighters due in service in 2019. It could be possible that our technology has increased so dramatically that building 5th generation fighters would be a waste of time. One thing is certain, warfare is changing just as fast. Russia and China both claim to have new hypersonic missiles in operation. These missiles are so fast that they can cover 450 miles in just six minutes. China is boasting that it has the first ever electromagnetic rail gun, and it can fire cheap guided shells incredibly fast and accurate over incredible distances. And everyone has been testing lasers for their abilities to shoot down drones, incoming missiles, and other aircraft. The future may just belong to drones, hypersonic speeds, and artificial intelligence. Skynet, anyone? Regardless of the future of technology, countries will have to keep up by building jet fighters that can deal with many new threats. We hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think about the future of fighter jet technology? If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you will be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.